Hi, I'm Andy, the Trend Follower. It's Saturday, the 30th of July, 2022. Welcome to this week's review of the different asset classes. I don't know which asset class is going to do best, so I follow seven of them. Shares, property, gold, commodities, cryptocurrency, bonds and foreign exchange. Let's have a look at shares, first of all. And the fund that I follow rose further this week. <laughs> That's a great thing. Let's hope that there are better times uh, ahead for everybody. Fingers crossed. Let's look at property next. And this fund hasn't changed much in price this week. It's still below the green line, so I'm staying in cash. Let's look at gold now. And my gold investment rose slightly this week. I'm staying invested, of course. Commodities are up next and my commodity fund rose up in price this week. It had been below the green line, but this week it closed above the green line, which is a buy signal for me. So yeah, go baby, go. Let's hope it uh, it does well. We shall see. I shall be buying on Monday. Cryptocurrency is next and my crypto proxy fell back slightly this week. It's below the green line, so I'm staying in cash. Bonds are up next and the bonds that I follow are still well below the yearly average, the green line. I'll buy them when they cross the six month average line, the blue line here. And that might be sometime soon. We'll see. So I may be going long uh, in, in these bonds. I'll let you know all about it when the time comes. Let's look at Forex next and particularly the euro dollar price. And this has been falling and falling. Uh, not much movement of the euro against the dollar this week. Uh, I'm still waiting for a buy signal. Let's have a look at the traffic lights for each of the asset classes and shares remain on a red. Property remains a red. Gold is green. Commodities have just turned green. So this is a new buy signal for me. My crypto is still red. My bond fund is still red. And the Euro US dollar is also a red. So what do I have to do this week? Number one, open a long position in my commodities fund. Number two, adjust my stop loss order on my open gold position. It's nice and easy. Do you want to see a weekly update? Make sure you're signed up to my Substack. I'm not a financial advisor. This video is just about what I do. It's not advice. I make no claim about how this strategy might perform for me in the future. If you copy me, you might end up living in a cardboard box. Regard this as entertainment, like gambling. Have a great week and give some money to the Ukrainian refugees. Bye for now.